Global Webcasting for a worldwide audience. Yeah, so anyway, it's Friday night and it's been a rough week, what with the Brexit and that, and uh, you've had enough and the telly's giving you a headache. And so, you know, one o'clock, you slide in between the sheets next to your partner. And then it starts, the thump, 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 thump thing from next door. And it's like, oh, you know. And then the bedside light comes on and she's like, doesn't say anything, just looks at you. And you go, yeah, all right. And you get up and you put on your tracksuit and you pop round next door and you, you've got all your stuff ready, like, you know, the LED lights are flashing. They open the door and actually they're nice enough. And they say, yeah, yeah, we'll turn the music down a bit. And you want to come in and have a little drink and have a, you get pop here and have a couple of shots. Next thing you know, you're behind the decks and you're whamming it out and in comes your partner. She looks at you and says, what the, heck, what the hell do you think you're doing? And you say, well, with the big sad boy expression, everybody wants to be the DJ. to be the D.
Yeah, well, that's Soul Wax back in 2004, and they're very hip guys. That were, They were, as you can hear, a legitimate rock band from Belgium. Really strong. Um, I saw them live on some big festival. I was very, very impressed. And I didn't hear about them for a couple of years. And then the next thing, they're DJs. Um, Soul Wax as DJs. Um did some fantastic uh, mashup mixes and uh, really were the kings of that scene back around, say, 2006, 2007. Set a benchmark, and that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about the DJ and what what does it mean? What does it mean to be a modern DJ? Everybody can be a DJ now because algorithms and Spotify enable you to put together your own playlist what's what's the form what's the function what's the need for a dj all of these things we'll explore through music because we're going straight to sly stone uh sly was a fantastic apparently dj back in san francisco and he played the hippest stuff and he listened to it all and then he said you know what i'm going to put it all on one track Well, I'm still dancing to the music, and I guess you are too. It's all there. It's all there. But that's that's back in the day. Um, and back in the day, what made DJs special was the fact that only they could really access the music. If you were a working DJ, you had some money. And if you were like cool guy, like Jeff Dexter, um, you would be able to access through all of the... Um, shops in London that imported records and you would get the cool records. You couldn't just dial them up out of the internet and get them for free. Um, You had to pay for them. They were a thing. And if you had those records, you were a cool DJ. Like I say, Jeff Dexter was a cool DJ. Um, People remember him mostly from 
the psychedelic times because he put on the doors and the Jefferson Airplane at the Roundhouse in London and many such things. Um, I bumped into Jeff recently and he's still in fine form and actually reverted to his previous incarnation, which was, he was a mod. He was one of those mods who went psychedelic. And when he was a mod, Jeff would play stuff like this. So that's old school, but modern times require different things. Curatorship comes in. This is, you know, when I talk to people and I say, well, I DJ, and they say, oh, yeah, it's like a curator thing, like you're picking. Well, rather me picking than an algorithm, if you ask me. But that's, you know, that's because I'm stubborn and I'm willful and I find things that algorithms can't even conceive of because I'm human. And... um also human is the real Tuesday Weld, and he's a guy that crosses over both sides of the fence, same way I do. He'll do DJing, but he'll play live music, and he'll do performance, and as regular listeners to the show knows, I've got a lot of time for the real Tuesday Weld.
Well, there you go. That's um, that's the Clarkwell Kid, all right. And it wouldn't have seemed right to do a show about DJs without asking some of our regular contributors to contribute in terms of what is the modern DJ? What is our form? What is our function? What are we all about? So I got in touch with uh, old Beezer and... Uh, well, he just he didn't say anything. He just sent me this track. Um, and it's about someone called DJ Graham. But I think that's his mate or something. Anyway, here's Beezer's selection. It's all right now.
Well, that's that's uh, that's bright and breezy, Beezer. And uh, but then a bit of bright and breezy goes quite a long way, doesn't it? Um, anyway, that's DJ Graham, and that's the DJ contribution from Beezer. That's what Beezer thinks should be happening. That kind of upbeat, weird uh, type thing. Um, of course, our other and more recent um, addition to our roster of guest DJs is the French supervillain Fantomas. And uh, personally, I I enjoyed Phantom Ash's show very, very much um, with his uh, bizarre take on things. But I didn't know that much about Phantom Ash. I knew a little. I mean, there's been novels. I think I have a novel. Um, What I didn't realise is that he's been a film star. He he never looks the same twice. Um, If you see a film of him in the 1930s, he looks one way. And then if you see him in the 1960s, he looks another and uh, I asked Fantomas for a contribution to DJ World, and he, you know, he could be less interested, really. Um, he has other fish to fry and, and other portraits to steal. Um, uh, but he said, look, <laughs> I'm not going to do the accent. He just said, use one of my many film themes. Uh, so here he is um, from the 1960s when in the film version he had a blue face. Uh, here's the Fantomas theme. like that actually well done phantom ass i don't know what it's got to do with our main thrust here of the contemporary dj and his or her place in the world but anyway that was a very enjoyable way to spend two minutes if you ask me um did you ask me can't remember um but i did ask our third and in some ways the most loved and mysterious of our uh, djs because he never actually came on air if you remember is a uh, bulto 
who used to live in, uh, he's from Romania, used to live in Tesco's car park um, and then moved to Salford uh, to build Arthur Brown's new house. And um, if you remember that far back, he just gave us a list. He, he brought the CDs in and a, a charming notes and uh, which in, in pidgin English, which I read out. Um, and always a great warmth towards Bulto. Um, and um, so I got in touch with him. Um, and I said, what, what, what would you like to contribute to the modern DJ show? And he said, Salford has changed me. Um, I am now no longer stranger. And uh, please play music that fulfills the feeling of a person from a foreign shore in a different place where he is acceptable. Well, I <laughs> stuck with that. It's a hell of a brief, isn't it? Um, so I picked this track by Warren G, which is uh, based on Borodin, uh, and then Recension Through Kismet, Stranger in Paradise. Anybody with me? Just enjoy it. Top dog patrolling the beach. Niggas say they hard as bitch, but they as soft as a peach. Claiming the G of all G's. Please, I come blowing through like the breeze. Sitting on threes. Posted, coasting, mashing down Pacific coast. And the bomb chrome rims, black on black Yukon. With nuts hanging from the city where the bangers be banging. It don't seem like shit is changing. I hollered at the homie the other day. G'd up at the park, sipping Alizé. One of the homies took a beating, so now it's finna be a gang and checking at the meeting. Life cycles repeating, it's just another sunset falling. See, I can hear the homies that pass calling me. And you know what I discovered? What they keep saying, keep your mind and your mind to shake busters. Sold millions, but yet you niggas persist to talk shit. Get off my d you never catch me slipping, rolling with the heat, slap the clipping. I never thought the world would start tripping. My life's a trip though, hit the crypto, blow the whistle. They think I bang, so I pack a pistol. More to the G is a G. I don't with you niggas, so don't with me. Let's ride to the east side, slide like a foe. I pack some fo fo when I'm stepping out those to the bang to the boogie. If I speak, then I spoke. Warn G, you do it every time to your low. Get the party lit like blazing smoke. The east side of the beach, west side of the coast. You know the niggas that I ride with hogs, attack dogs. The same niggas I'm down to die. To Japan, stomp land to land to the Egyptian sands. You can't check me, disrespect me, and mop me up with the bass bumping out my truck. And all these police trying to lock me up. Money rules the world, and I made the loot, so don't make me shoot. Cause trying to match should get you done every time. I ain't trying to hurt nobody, but I'm down for my bitch. Money over power. Power over money, money over power, biatch, biatch. Yeah, well, there goes Warren into the distance. It's a rather mysterious track, really. It's a mashup of sort of, I don't 
oh, 90s trip hop, along with some classical music. I rather like it. Um, because I'm in the mood, and uh, it's DJing that puts me in the mood. And let's get back on theme. Let's get strong with the force, or whatever that is. And let's talk about David Byrne, because David Byrne from Talking Heads was one of the first to sense the change in DJs, that no longer was it needed to. Um, you know, music was everywhere. So David, uh, I don't know if he still does it, but I mean, maybe 10, 12 years ago, I used to listen to his internet radio show, which was three hours a week. And it was themed, um, but but he just, no introductions, just music. Three hours of music, old and new, sometimes mixed, sometimes all old, sometimes all new. Um, and David was a, really a lot of acts that I grew to like at that time, like Hot Chip and um, MIA and quite a few acts that I got turned on to. Um, I think maybe the Clark and Will Kid, actually, um, through through listening to David Byrne. So in tribute to David, I'm going to play what I think is probably his best song. Um, this is live, and it's Talking Heads with Life During Wartime. That's people cheering. He'll be on in a minute, don't worry. I'm doing like a DJ thing. Oh, here, I can hear them. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Here comes the music now. It, look, David, can you get on with it, please?
Yeah, well, goodbye, David. Um, always a pleasure. Nice to see you again. Nice to hear your music. Um, let's talk about Don Letts, because uh, Don Letts is a modern DJ, in my opinion, and the only one, uh, only regular DJ, uh, there are some guest DJs on Radio 6 who are decent, but Don's the only one who, week after week, knocks out a fantastic show. It's called Culture Clash Radio, and um, very simple format. He'll play one brand new piece of music and then one classic piece of music and uh he's not gushy he's not goo goo um and i'll get into that later because i have problems with the modern everything is wonderful type dj um don is not that it's just like factual it's just like here's a great track from the past here's a great track from the present so his from his collection actually has a CD collection which is entitled Dread Meets Punk Rockers Uptown, and it says selected by DJ Don Letts, with a, a picture of him looking young and, and handsome. So uh, here's Uroy with "I'm Gonna Wear You to the Ball." Yeah, I'm to the sound of this generation. With the man Kyoto back with the version that you wrote last creation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dem Uroy. And uh, last time uh, Don was in um, Lewis, which wasn't that long ago, um, and he's coming again soon. Um, 
I said to him, here's the new Sharks album, um, which at that time was and still is, Ready, Set, Go. And uh, you know what? He hasn't played it. I mean, I, I listen to his show regularly and he hasn't played it. So, Don, I mean, you know, if you want Culture Clash, if you want, like, a totally analogue band operating coolly in the digital world, I mean, come on, Don, play this. <laughs> Temptation. All hail the doo queen, and now by all the glittering gods of Motown. And now by every beating heart, I swear. Oh, yeah. I will time the concentration of your love. Well, that's Sharks, and um, why am I playing Sharks? Because I'm a DJ, and because I can, and it's my band, and they're really good. Um, I can do these things. It's part of the power of the DJ, <laughs> um, which is misused. Um, I mean, you know, I've quoted uh, Don Letts, because I think Don is, you know, fine. But, I mean, those people on Radio 6, I mean, I don't want to moan and complain, but you know what, I'm going to... I mean, Kellyanne Hobbs, Keris Matthews, Tom Robinson, who did audition for Sharks as the bass player, and uh, 
was rubbish. Um, I mean, they're just goo goo and gosh, and it's all a wonderful world of music and everything's great. And they play one track, which is fantastic, you know, and then they play another one, which is just dire, and they gush and goo about it. There's no discrimination, there's no sordid judgment, there's no nothing, right? I loathe them. Um, I really loathe uh, Keris Matthews. Um, she's taken over the, on Radio 2 now, The Blues Show. And uh, which is, uh, phew, what that's about, I've no idea. Paul Jones, man knew what he was talking about. Uh, Keris Matthews, she's over 50, and she's still talking like this, like I'm a little girl. No, you're not. I'm sorry, you're over 50. That shtick only works up to 25 on a woman. You know, you do that afterwards, it's damn exploitative, you ask me. And I'll tell you what, Keris, you try really hard to justify playing all of these blues guys, right, who would have just looked at you as a little piece of meat. I'm going to tell you a story. 1968, first time I meet a blues guy, is called the Reverend Gary Davis. And he's over in England touring, and he comes to... I'm living in Hull at the time, and he comes to the Brick House. And uh, I'm the support act, just me and guitar. And I share the dressing room with him, and he was blind, you know, and he sits there, and... uh, he was, he was just mumbling to himself and in the corner playing the guitar and sort of blues singing. And then he fell asleep. And his guitar was, 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 looked like it was going to fall off his knee. So I, I picked the guitar up and I, I put it in the corner. And then he wakes up about 20 minutes later and he's like, Where my Stella? Where my Stella? And I'm thinking, where's his Stella? What's he on about? But then I realised the guitar, the make of the guitar was a Stella. So he wanted his Stella back, so I put the guitar back in his lap, and it's all good, and he starts just chuntering and playing again. Then they get him out on stage, and actually, he was pretty good. I mean, he was a, a fair age, but he, he gave it, you know, he gave it plenty. Um, and then at the end, they make the mistake of getting this uh, young girl, a very attractive young girl, to come up and give him some flowers or something uh, on the stage. And she leans down to kiss him, and, and the Rev Gary, he just grabs her, right? He's got, he's got hold of her now, and he, he's sniffing her up, and he's like, whoa. <laughs> and then he's pulling her onto his knee, you know, and it's all getting really, really hit up, and, and, and it's not at all politically correct or cool, because there's this old black guy, and he's got this young white chick, and he's more or less... Having a go at <laughs> But because, I mean, he's blind. I don't know if he knew what people were there. Anyway, uh, Keris, stick that one. Myself. 
So that's Sonny Boy Williamson bringing us all right back down to the dirt, which is where we all belong, in my opinion. Um, And we're nearly at the end of the show. We're moving, you know, towards the end. And um, I guess I've got to sum up what is the modern DJ? Who is he or she or she male or male she or whatever? Who's on the radio? What's the point? Well... A modern DJ, DJ should be, I don't know, have lived some life, seen some stuff, be slightly contradictory, um, well aware that life as we know it, fact and fiction have subtly intermixed. Um, that DJ should be debonair and breezy, uh, informative. Um, this is King Mob uh, broadcasting from... <laughs> <laughs> and um, where are we going to? I know I'm going to finish with with a track that really sums up. I think what 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 the modern DJ should be playing because this track is awkward and it is difficult and it is musically interesting. Um, it's a guy called Johnny Dowd. And he will be appearing at the Con Club uh, in April, and I urge you to go and see him. I've never seen him, but I'm going to go, because I know that Johnny is dangerous. And in this song, well, he's over 60, and he is ringing up a high school sweetheart um, because he wants his leather jacket back. And you might think that's weird enough, but then he gets all stalkery on her ass. And uh, this is what the modern DJ should be playing. This is Betty by Johnny Dowd. See, that's like a phone call thing. He's ringing her up. He'll be on in a minute. Hello. Is this Betty? Hi, Betty. Guess who this is? No. No. It's Johnny. Johnny Down. Betty, please, don't hang up. I just want to ask you a question. Oh, by the way, how are you? Yeah, Johnny Dowd. Yeah, from high school. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Betty, I just want to know if... Still had my football leather jacket. Johnny, Johnny, have your leather jacket. Tisket, tasket, leather jacket. Oh, Betty, please don't. No, don't hang up. Don't hang up. No, I just thought that you might still have it. And since I guess the eternal love thing didn't work out. Betty, don't hang up. I I know where you live, Betty. If you'd like, I could stop by. I I could stop by and pick up the leather jacket myself. Johnny, Johnny, I have your leather 